see I got OBS up so you get this freak image <laughs> let me take that away for now hi I got COVID from my wife who has just had it and my daughter it's uh, Omicron variant so it's not that bad but I can start feeling it uh, luckily I work at home and have my own home, home office here my YouTube studio is also my home office as you could have guessed and uh, today I had a little stream that some of you maybe saw and that is uh, my working streams where I'm just working chatting really um, trying to keep myself busy trying not to get insane from working at home all the time so uh, I did that I was quite fun a couple of people uh, came by asked some questions uh, which is nice it was good to interact with people and uh, I tried the uh, listening back on the actual stream and I realized that uh, well sounds not very good is it so we're going to do some experiments today and uh, so I'm just gonna what happened I'm just gonna take off the display and just put it back where it was there we go turn it off and then oh, I'm going to take my image. Where are you? Yes, here. This is an AMA, by the way. And I'm just here to test out some, some equipment. And I thought, why not do it live? I mean, I've got nothing else to do. Well, i got a lot of other things to do, but uh, hey, I am bored. What can I say? <laughs> I'm gonna take uh, my EOS camera, move it away over here. I'm gonna move this a bit over here, just to show a bit more of that. And then we're gonna put in, uh, we're gonna put in uh, the screen, which is here. I don't know why, but I actually like this setup a bit. And, but except it keeps hiding my face a bit. So I just need to figure out the best way to put this. I think some, something like that is good. So let's make this just a little bit bigger, but smaller. Give it like a little frame, something like that. Okay. What I'm also gonna do is that we're gonna put on our... Where are you? It's not here. So I'm gonna uh, get this camera. That. I'm gonna put that in here, and wow, that that's not in focus at all. Let's fix that. Configure video. Go camera controls. Focus. So like that. Of course, the focus shifts as the light changes. We're gonna do this. The reason for that is. Um, because I now have a dual setup camera. Here's this guy to see some of my details. Because I'm using my Canon to as my face cam, which makes it really beautiful with this like blurry background, uh, which is nice. So I'm experimenting a bit with uh, a couple of different options. But what we're trying to do now is figuring out. Now let's put this about over here. Is that good? Maybe? Something like that? Yeah, I think that's good. So we're gonna move this mic just up a bit. There we go. So that you can actually see my desk. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's just fix the pivot here. we go if that's not a freaky image I don't know what is so but if I have, actually if I uh, if I take out uh, take out OBS not too bad but for now uh, we're going to get rid of 
this out, as you can hear. Because as you can see, my microphone is pretty close to my mouth, which is a problem, because that makes a lot of noise. And uh, I also have a headset, which I can try to put on just to see if the actual sound is any better. It's always fun to try and figure out the best setup with the equipment that you have in hand. You can get a pretty good YouTube uh, setup with just like the things that you have laying around, like your, your gaming headset. And uh, I'm using an Asum uh, H2N, uh, which is a cheap little recorder actually. It's a surround recorder. But if you connect uh, sound in from one end, you can connect an extra microphone, like this. So now, in theory, I should be cleaner and you should hear me better, but the sound shouldn't be that good because this microphone isn't, has, hasn't the same quality as this microphone. But it doesn't pick up the entire room, it just picks up my voice. Uh, well, right now it also picks up the room because I have four uh, speakers, or four microphones active at the same time. Oh, I can feel like my, my heart rate and my breathing is actually uh, shorter than I used to. So I feel this uh, virus having some effect on me. But I feel actually quite fine other than that. I have, I'm starting to have a bit of pains in my muscles. And my nose is starting to run just a little bit. And you have like that little tingly feeling in the back of your throat that you have before you're, you're starting to get a cold. That's there. Um, so, uh, so I'm just going to try a couple of setups while I'm talking. Um, so this is the setup with the microphone and with uh, the H2N picking up the rooms. So we will hear all this, which I heard on my Twitch stream is very annoying. And I can see that. Uh, so we need to fix that somehow because you can't be hearing me clicking all the time. Even though this is a really good microphone, I really like having Zoom conversations on this microphone because it sort of feels like I'm in a room uh, on like this where it feels like you're on a telephone. So right now we're going to turn off uh, the surround sound so that we just have the microphone. Like this. And now we're going over to a uh, mono sound, uh, which probably isn't so bad. And uh, I guess my, my sound now should be clear. Uh, it doesn't have as much bass sound, so it just could be a bit more must, uh, much discant. Discant? What do you call that in? Tremble! <laughs> That's the English word. Discant. That's very Norwegian, isn't it? <sighs> I should like the setup. This actually is quite good because now I can actually see my, my actual <laughs> desk here and what's happening on here, uh, which could be quite uh, practical. Um, there's actually a third screen that you don't see, uh, which is here where I usually have my OBS and my chat. So when I when I do uh, courses on SketchUp and stuff, I usually have the people in that, that uh, third monitor there. Uh, while the other ones here are for my uh, main screen and uh, all my side screen for all, everything else. This is a, a, four, a 4K monitor, no, 2K monitor, and this is uh, a full HD monitor. Is it 2K? I don't... Uh, 1440, is that 2K or, or 4K? I think it's 2K, but I'm not really sure. Okay, oh, I'm starting to feel out of breath. <sighs> You know what I don't like? I don't like this uh, thing here on um, on OBS. Uh, it's not really updating. So I can see now that I have one viewer. But sometimes I get chats that are from more viewers, so like it doesn't update. So there might be more people watching. I don't really know. Uh, but hi, whoever you are. Welcome to my test. It's always nice to have people come by. Feel free to ask me the question you want. And uh, I think we tested this out far enough. It might be the best way to do it, but I don't like having my headset on uh, all the time. When I'm playing games and I want to be quiet, then it's fine. But uh, when I'm working, I don't like having the headset on. I feel like a bit claustrophobic. So we need to find some other solutions as well. We're going to take this off for now. Take 
got the microphone. And now it should have a, a five point. I'm about to sneeze. Some <coughs> grown out in the room. I'm gonna to have to disinfect this entire room when I'm done with this. And uh, so this is the Shannon sound with just the microphone. And we could also move the microphone a bit. I have this here. There's a little microphone stand, which I really never used because the thing with this thing is that it's you can put it quite flat on the ground with this uh, spider thing, which is actually quite nice because it doesn't get into the actual screen. Uh, but try it. Um, this is going to make a lot of sound, so sorry about that. Actually, I'm going to mute it so you can listen to some music while while I'm. Uh, We go. Of course, neth nothing will probably be better than this, and I can even like now since I have the the microphone so close to my face, I can probably turn down the gain a bit, take it down to four somewhere around there, and then just keep it really nice and close and intimate to my face. I can also actually turn this around, just give it like a little bend like this. But then it's really hard not to have the microphone in frame, you know, so oh, in the wrong frame here. So it will always be there. But that's fine. You see a lot of YouTubers doing that. And um, <laughs> but for me, it's, it's a visual thing. It sort of takes me out of it. I like like feeling like I'm just watching somebody talking. And when I have this in my face, it feels kind of like I'm a radio host more than doing YouTube stuff. Oh. Let's take this just no. You know what? Leave that there. And what we're gonna do is put our logo all the way up. I just realized that I'm blocking my <laughs> my patchy logo. That's my new logo, by the way. It's not new. It's actually very old. It's my uh, my uh, professional logo. Uh, I've decided to go uh, over to doing more internet stuff and uh, being more consultant and uh, designing stuff and doing a lot of it online. And uh, for that, I decided to go full on, try and actually cultivate the Foseli brand. So Fosel, uh, Foscon is short for Foseli Consulting. And uh, so that's my firm. But I'm still gonna do game playthroughs and uh, VR th things and stuff like that. But it's probably gonna be a bit more in a professional sense as well, not as much uh, entertainment. Because I think that's what I like doing most, and I don't think I'll be doing that much more game streaming uh, unless there's something very special happening. Maybe one, the one hour things, but not the full game playthroughs. Mainly because they're not very interesting to watch. So. I'm guessing that this setup with the microphone is probably the best. But there are a couple of more options. I don't really know how good they are. So this might be interesting. This I bought a very long time ago on eBay. And uh, apparently it's a very good microphone. But the problem is it is upside down, first of all. <laughs> That way, there we go. It is no, I can't really focus on that, can you? There you go. Mono. So I'm trying to use this converter to see if maybe I can get some sound of it, but I don't know if this will work, but we'll try. 
And the only way I can actually tell if this is working is actually using my um, my headset as a monitor. So I need to put up the volume here. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. And this sounds really good. But how does this? I want to put in this. This might be. This might be painful. It's okay. question is so this hey this actually works what is that sound oh that doesn't sound very good does it but my my voice sounds really clear doesn't it but there is something some disturbance there in the background ringing yeah we can't have it like that even though this microphone is actually really good if i go close to my mouth it can be really good almost too much of a good thing really that sound was really annoying i wonder if that's there or if it's just just on this monitor thing i really won't know that until i actually hear the playback I'm starting to become out of breath. <sighs> Room to breathe. Okay. But this actually, this actually, oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. This actually, uh, this actually, if I go down a bit, I can take away some of that high pitch sound. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Hello, hello. Yeah, so that's the stereo. <coughs> Try and take off. Uh, hello. You can barely hear me. I can try and take off this uh, this converter and see how it works. Just putting the mono straight into my H2 and yeah, it's not in. It, it doesn't even want to go in. Hello. Yeah, that's just one channel. But I think I can still hear like the. The little hiss there. It's not there. But here it is. There's just one channel. We could, of course, take this, but uh, so using this, do it in there, and then this in here. Shh, 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 shh. Sorry, guys. Oh no, no, it's still mono. Not at all. I'm taking this out again. Sorry. Well, that was terrifying. Let me just take this. To back to five. Jesus Christ. Taking this off, off again. Okay. So, no. Too unpredictable. Even though I got some sound out of it. And I got two others here, which are also mono, which are actually meant to be used when doing a podcast interview that I can use in this guy. So I actually get two channels, one in each channel. And uh, let's see how this works. This, this is probably going to be messy too. I'm actually going to mute it before I put a Well, they look like they're working. Let's go down to here somewhere. Something happening here. <sighs> this is what you get when you buy equipment out of eBay. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna put this here. Sensor 
Andrew should give us a stereo mic, and we're going to pick it up again. Just a little bit, like that. Yeah, you hear that high-pitched uh, squeal there? That is the sound of some cheap-ass microphones. It's not cool, Mark. That's very terrible, actually. That's really bad. Yeah. Hmm. That doesn't sound good at all, does it? Hello, 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 hello. It's also on the wrong side. <laughs> well, not for you guys, of course. It's the wrong side from my perspective. Okay, we're moving it again. I just wonder if maybe this could be a good opportunity to use this as um, microphones for doing podcast interviews, but I can hear there's too much static in the actual cables themselves. These are terrible microphones. I'm better off just using VH2N as it is. Yeah. So I have one more option. I'm just going to take the gain down again. That I haven't tried yet. And that is this little guy. Which is... An Ava... Microphone. That came with my mini disc player back in the day. And I seem to remember... It had quite... Wonderful quality to it. I used to do some... Fantastic recordings with it. Some bootlegged, um, <laughs> some bootlegged um, concert and stuff. So I figured let's 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 see how it works. Maybe it still works. Okay, 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 okay. So far, uh, it actually actually it's not so bad so far. It doesn't have any. It's oh well, no, it's not really good. Even though it doesn't have that much uh, static in the background, you can hear that the sound is really. Oh, wow, wasn't that bad? Really? I remember it as much, uh, much better quality than this. Really do. It's quite a, a far away from my my lips too. Maybe if I go a bit closer, it would be better. But um, the idea is to. Um, for something that's easier that you won't hear my mouse and stuff, but you can still hear that quite well with this. It looks like I'm gonna take off my headset and just take a look at the bars here. Maybe I've got a bit. Ooh, sorry. So maybe if I put it up here, it's better, but it's still like really. Uh, muffled sound, I guess. You never know. It might be better than I think. We won't know that until we actually hear the playback of it. And I think that um, still the best uh, effect that we have is uh, probably having this closer to my mouth and uh, with less gain. So. I'm going to go back to that now. Take down the dynamics so that it's almost mono. Now it's mono. I'm gonna take it up just a little bit. 30 degrees. And then, oh, that overdoes it. Take it down. To round four. No, 
know that's um, that's not enough. I'm gonna have to have it on six, I think. Six is a good uh, good number, and that should uh, well actually you can see I'm actually over peaking now. Why is that? Why am I peaking sometimes, but not all the time? Is that because I'm too close to the microphone, or is it? Uh, oh no, it's now it's fine again. Hmm. Well, well then, guess just don't blow into the microphone, and that's another issue. You could always use. Um, where is that? There it is. I don't have a pop filter, but I do have. A wind filter, which also could help a bit, but it uh, means that I'll put uh, this microphone up in my face all the time when I really do not want to th even think about it most of the time. But I guess when I'm making videos, I should keep this closer to my face, and especially when I'm using my my keyboard and stuff. So let's move this over to the side. that and um, another option that we could try I'm not really sure if that's even better but um, it is we're gonna put the, the This is a much smaller microphone, and this might be enough to actually hear it well. My dad sent me a picture. Let's see what it is off screen before I actually look at it. Yep. That is a present for my. It's uh, perfect. For my. So right now I have uh, this system on X. What happened? This knob here is starting to give away. Okay, I think we're good now. So now this uh, is on the N6, and this is closer to my face, which should help a lot, a bit, I mean, but I don't know what it will do to the actual sound quality. And you will still actually hear my mouse uh, clicking here in the background. Should we play a game or something? Is there anyone in the chat? No, not really. I do have other setups, you know. I can also do screen. I can actually now uh, swap between the two cameras. It's quite nice. And also, what is that? Let's just take away. This. Okay, and we have our window set up. We'll just show SketchUp. Hmm. No, it's like that. Oh. Yeah, if I keep it up in this window, that's fine. And then I can just crop away. 
just about everything that's important. So you can just see my work here. That's kind of nice. And then we have our... So I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to go back to screen. Let's take a look at what, uh, what we got uh, ready to go on Steam. Nothing because it has to update. Of course, it does. There we go. I actually have a few games uh, ready to play here. So we just go uh, ready to play. There's a couple of games, actually, VR games in, in particular, that I still have not played, like. After the fall, which I'm gonna play really soon. Um, the Book of Distance uh, I've played, but not on the channel. Uh, Borderlands VR, Dawn of the Art. These are more experienced than anything. Detached, I've never tried. That's why one I've never tried. I've, I've, I have such a backlog of things I haven't tried yet. But what I really wanted to do to try was this, which is uh, not a VR game. But it's a, a, an experience game, that's what it's called. And it uh, sort of goes into your mental health. Which would be interesting to do as a let's play. Not today, but uh, maybe later. For now, this has just been to test, uh, <laughs> test audio setups. And I think this is probably okay. But one that probably would be better. It's probably this. I just oh, I need a bit more cable for this USB. Just bend it forward like that, and I can keep it actually quite close to my face. And uh, how's the the volume? It's, it looks fine. And uh, yeah, as you can see, I got a new PC too, and with that came this game, uh, ROG Citadel. It does not look like a good game, or it's not a really good game. I, I tried it a bit, but it's really bad. Let's, uh, let's fix this display here so we can actually see what we're doing. So. There you go. Also, let's... Uh, Stop the uh, external music here, and then we can actually turn off, uh, turn off uh, Spotify, and also don't need uh, the screen logo. Huh? Oh. Need to move them both. Let's try this. Adventure. Continue. So I can run, but I can't jump for some strange reason. <coughs> How is this the remix now? It's pretty high. Uh, it's okay. I've already done this, right? What am I supposed to do? Is there like a map or something? Journal? Nope. I can't remember what to do now. Yeah. 
Yes. Charles Dickens. It was the best of times and was the worst of times. <laughs> the um, ray tracing is really cool. You can't really do anything until all the dialogue has been gone through. It's really annoying. So it's apparent that they took a lot of inspiration from cyberpunk, trying to, or, or of course, cyberpunk is also from a cyberpunk genre, but still. <laughs> I'm starting to get really uh, constipated now. In my nose. My nose. Or else. Can I interact with this? Alright. Right. Oh! Left, right, space, and bump is control. Okay. I do like. Um... Oh. But what? Oh, I have to use these guys. You used to think flipper games were so fun. Now they're so basic. There's so much to chance. Get up there. Oh, terrible. That was it. Yeah, leave the game. Wait, not, not leave the game, leave that game. Yeah, thank you, okay. And then we have another game. So it looks like a twin stick shooter. I really don't. Oh, I'm not used to playing twin sticks with a mouse. enough now to actually uh, back to the menu, menu actually I just want to quit the game we're perfect we've done enough now to actually <laughs> see how this will fare and I can also turn off the display so it gets back to like my full screen like this looks like a really narcissistic screen doesn't it uh, I can also take off my eraser like that and I can move my picture back in frame. Actually, it's kind of cool. Like having like half a screen. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to <laughs> well, I don't I don't know if I'm gonna put this on YouTube. To be honest, but uh, if I do, like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you want to. And I guess I will talk to you next time.